the, the movie is called uh, Don't, uh, Don't Don't Think, think Twice, twice. twice. Mm -hmm. and it's about uh, 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 it was written by Mike Birbiglia. Yes, he was a very funny so comedian. Talented, funny guy. And yeah. uh, it's about a comedy troupe, like an improv troupe. That I was I was a member of a comedy uh, improv troupe. So was troupe. I. What so was the name of your? Because they always they often have odd names oh, like oh, Third oh, Rail Comedy. Yeah, yeah, right, right. What was your? My favorite one is from an old cast member of yours, Dave Rosowski. Hans Christian Yes Anderson. Because yes and yes is the rules and of is one of the rules yes, of improv. Yes, yeah. uh, the group that I'm still in, I've been in a group uh, for 15 years that comes out of the second city, Detroit, and we're called the 313, okay, which is sure. which is the which sure. is the area code of Detroit. Yeah. Um, there was one in Chicago that I called uh, a Cardiff Giant. Their show was called LBJ FKKK. LBJ, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. I love Cardiff Giant. It was a great group. They were yeah, great yeah, group. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but this is kind of like your life because it's about a guy who gets sort of plucked from. An improv, a small improv, where right. you can't make a living at all. Which, yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and, and it's, there, there's some autobiographical elements to the, to the film uh, in regard to my life and my career. But the biggest thing that's, that's kind of hard is that every rule of improv is the exact opposite of show business. <laughs> so every rule of improv, got your back. I'm there for my partner. I'm succeeding. Serve the other, serve person. The other person. Exactly. Do I follow the follower. follower. Serve the servant. Yes, and you're more important than, than I, I am. am. Yeah. yeah. The opposite of show business. <laughs> so, exactly. So, That's so, right. Get, get out of my way. Oh, Daddy's I, talking. I need to be a star. <laughs> and, uh, so, so if but you went from improv and now you're a star. Like right. that must you must know how what this guy's going through because he doesn't know how to feel. He doesn't. Or talk to the rest of the troupe because he became he went big time and now he's sort of left. It's, it's the an, family. He's left the family, like a family that he's made. Yeah. And, and there's an ambivalence that he has. So he's trying to get everybody else on the sh uh, from his troupe. He's trying to get them all jobs on the show that he's okay, on. Yeah. And then, of course, the problem is he gets on the show. He's trying to get them jobs. And everybody on the show is like, don't get fired your first year. <laughs> Just you. Don't worry about your, your schmuck friends. Don't you get fired. Mm -hmm. So he's caught between these two worlds, and he doesn't know what to do. Do you yeah. think, you know, one of the things about it is you're saying, like, yes and is the basically the only rule of improv. So, Everything comes out of that. Agree. Agree and add on to it. Exactly. Agree and add on to it. Exactly. Yeah. And I add on to that. To that. Um, <laughs> uh, but did, did you do that? Like, that, that can be the whole philosophy to live your life. When you were like a young improviser, did you find that sort of infecting the way you live? Yes, every, t every day, because we'd finish a show and then someone say, Do you want to go to the bar? And I go, yes, yes, and let's drink lots of drinks. That's and exactly so, right. Which, exactly. <laughs> What's that you want me to put in my mouth? Well, yes, yes, and, and let's have another round. <laughs> right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what it really is. It's a game for young people. It's, yes, young people, young people should never restrict and say yes to everything. No, yeah. uh, I think that it, it does work as a rule when you feel uncomfortable about something. If there's, some, if there's a place where you can grow in life, then it's a good thing to do. Maybe don't yes and everything. It's like, would you would you care for some more heroin? Yes, and you know, so maybe don't yes and that. But um, I do. I think in regard to being cooperative and doing doing something collaborative with other people, it's super helpful. Did you ever teach people improv? A lot of I, I did teach people improv. That's really fun. I did. I love teaching yeah. improv. And I, I found out that you and I'm interrupting you. I have found out because it's all about me, baby. <laughs> That, that you couldn't really teach them. You kind of revealed to them what they could already do. Exactly. That's what it is. It's, they used to say that Michelangelo's statue is already inside that slab of, of granite. It's already in there. You just got to let it out. Just got to let it out. <laughs> you, you're, you're blowing my mind, man. <laughs> I got, I got to ask you, uh, uh, no. I got to ask something. Uh, something happened. You were uh, at college receiving an honor yes. from, a, from a, a comedy group. Yes, I went, yes, I was, yeah. At Harvard University. Mm -hmm. And, and one, of our, one of our interns here, Karen Chi, was Here's there. Karen Chi. And do yep. we have some footage of you at, at the place? Do we have the footage of this? Yes. This is you, and you kiss this young man. But then, here you go, and then Karen's right behind you. And here we go. And now you kiss Karen. <laughs> Karen, come on here, come on here. Come on, okay, sit down. We gotta go, Karen, like this. All right. So, Karen, <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, what was it? So you put a heavy smooch on her. Yep, oh, yeah. Because okay. I was yes ending the scene. <laughs> Yes, and tell I'll them, Karen. Tell them what the scene was about. What was the scene? The scene was about. Um, you gotta go. So make it quick. Yeah. So my friend and I had uh, an affectionate grandfather who came and smooched everyone who lived on that okay. street. Okay. And how did it feel to get uh, lip locked uh, by Keegan Michael Key? It was very exciting. I had actually only kissed. Um, I had only kissed one other boy in my life prior to that. Uh, <laughs> so. 
I used to tell everybody that 50% of my kisses were with Keegan Michael Key. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Anne, my friend. Yes, Don't Think Twice comes out this Friday. Keegan Michael Key, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, man.